Are you looking to take a vacation soon? Are you tired of the mundane routine you endure each week? You're probably eager to visit some museums, taste delicious food, enjoy beautiful nature, and create lifelong memories, right? Well, then you've got to head to Tallahassee, Florida. It's a great city that attracts tourists, business travelers, digital nomads, and settlers. Let's take a look at the best things to do in Tallahassee, Florida. Number 1. Alfred B. McClay Gardens State Park one of the best things about Florida is that it boasts incredible nature and offers many destinations to stop and decompress. In Tallahassee, you'll find the Alfred B. McClay Gardens State Park. This is a beautiful park where you can see an array of beautiful flowers including jasmine, gardenia, azaleas, and camellias. There are also great nature trails and paths for biking and hiking. You can also visit the park for swimming, paddling, or even fishing. It's also a great place to enjoy the serenity of nature, away from the chaos of the city. It's also a great introduction to Tallahassee and Florida as a whole. Here you'll enjoy the beautiful nature the state is famous for and experience the relaxing lifestyle that draws so many people to the state. Before we tell you more about the best things to do in Tallahassee, Florida, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Number 2. Visit the Knot House Museum Whenever you travel to a new city, you've got to learn a bit about the history of the place. The South has a fascinating history, and a huge part of this region's history, of course, revolves around slavery and the American Civil War. In the Knot House Museum, you'll learn about this fascinating aspect of American history. The Knot House is a historical landmark in Florida's history. In 1865, General Edward McCook read the Emancipation Proclamation in this home. The Knot House also once served as the headquarters of the Union Army. It's a fascinating museum you have to visit if you're interested in American history. You can explore it on your own or take a guided tour. You can also visit during Emancipation Week to see reenactments of the Civil War and American life during that time period. Number 3. Visit the Challenger Learning Center this is a great excursion if you're traveling with young children. The Challenger Learning Center is connected to an IMAX theater and a planetarium. It's located in downtown Tallahassee and is a great way to spend half a day. The planetarium is also a great way to teach your kids about the wonders of space and astronomy. There's a mission control simulator as well as a space station laboratory that they'll enjoy. The IMAX theater shows documentaries about space travel and astronomy. Make sure you get there early as the center can get packed very quickly. Number 4. Go to Railroad Square Art Park This was once a prominent lumber yard. It later became a thriving business district. Today, the Railroad Square Art Park is a great place for shopping, perusing through art galleries, and enjoying delicious food and drinks. This is one of the most popular places in Tallahassee for locals and tourists alike. For example, you can see the artist studio space for art students from Florida State University. You can watch these budding artists working on their craft. You never know, you might just come across one of the next iconic artists from Florida. If you love live music, there are many venues throughout the park to enjoy. You can check out the Mickey Faust Academy for the really dramatic arts or the Crumbox Gas Garden. You'll also find several great restaurants, pubs, and cafes. This is an exciting place to visit at any time during the day. We recommend you visit the Railroad Square Art Park a few times during your trip to Tallahassee. Number 5. Visit Goodwood Museum and Gardens This is a plantation house built in the 1800s and it's open to the public to learn about life in the American South before the Civil War. It's a 16-acre plantation and you can see the incredible beauty in the gardens. Some of the most incredible nature you'll find in Tallahassee will be right here at Goodwood. You'll see beautiful trees like oak trees and Japanese maples. You'll also find an array of beautiful flowers like peonies, camellias, and azaleas. When you visit the house, you'll see the original furniture from the 1800s. You'll also see antique glassware, textiles, and artwork. You'll get to tour the house to see how an American family lived in a plantation house during this era. Number 6. Get behind the wheel of a classic car at the Tallahassee Automobile Museum If you're a car fanatic, you have to visit the Tallahassee Automobile Museum. This is a museum that showcases the best examples of American transportation. There are over 150 automobiles to see, from cars to vans to public transportation vehicles. You can also see a variety of unique automobiles at the museum. For example, you'll see quite a few Batmobiles there. You'll also see the hearse that once carried Abraham Lincoln's corpse. Most of the automobiles are from America, but there are also a few historic cars from around the world. You can even find a few unique Native American artifacts at the museum. This is a great place to spend your day enjoying unique cars. It's a popular museum that attracts both tourists and locals. If you're a history buff, then you have to visit the Tallahassee Automobile Museum. It's a great way to see the history of America through its cars. Number 7. Visit Mission San Luis 
part of American history involves the history of missionaries and the missions they set up throughout the land. Mission San Luis was established in colonial America during the 1600s. It was a Franciscan mission for the Appalachian province. It's located west of Tallahassee, so you'll have to schedule your time to visit it during the day. You'll see many restored buildings from the mission. Of course, you'll also see the church, convent, and fort. It's now considered a historical landmark, and it's one that attracts visitors and locals from Tallahassee. The surroundings are also incredibly beautiful, so it's ideal if you enjoy incredible scenery. Number 8. Drinking and Science Lessons at Waterworks if you're traveling without kids, you should head to Waterworks. This is one of Tallahassee's most popular bars, but it's also a place where you can listen to lectures and discussions from scientists and academics. You can learn about a variety of topics from biotech to chemistry to astronomy, all this while enjoying a few drinks. This is what makes Tallahassee and Florida unique. If you're looking for a great place to have a drink and stimulate your brain, you've got to head to Waterworks. Number 9. The Tallahassee Museum of History and Natural Science this is another great museum to visit and is considered one of the best museums in Florida. It's a 52-acre facility where you can learn about history and natural science through exhibits and activities. You can learn about the native animal and plant species in Florida. You can also enjoy trails for walking. If walking sounds too boring, don't worry, there are opportunities for zip lining as well. There are also several obstacle courses, which are perfect if you're traveling with young children. You can explore the museum on your own or take a guided tour. You can also take classes in arts and crafts or enjoy the occasional music festival. There's a living history museum where you can see wildlife exhibits and even a butterfly garden. Make sure you set aside a day for visiting the museum as there's a lot to see. It's the perfect place to spend several hours and enjoy quality time with your children. Number 10. Listen to music at the Bradford Blues Club Tallahassee is a city full of talented musicians, many of whom congregate at the Bradford Blues Club. Here you'll get to enjoy some of the best live blues performances. It's a great place to visit at night to enjoy a great dinner while listening to talented musicians perform. If you're traveling as a couple, this is one of the best places to visit during your trip. You can also enjoy the music outdoors as there are several special events outdoors. These include bluegrass Sundays, Mardi Gras celebrations, and summer concerts. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss anything you love in Tallahassee? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.